Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Danny Vienna and it's some Harry Potter house colors. I'll be using Mundo de Unis, the Harry Potter plate. And I've got my Painted Desert Medium Square Natural Tips out today, topped with Maniology Sticky Base Coat. I'll also be using Bases Loaded Lacquer Shutout. And here is Danny Vienna. This is Chamber of Secrets. And we have Cunning, as well as, here we go, Philosopher's Stone, and then finally we've got this yellow, and it is Loyalty. Um, so bases loaded like our shutouts going down first. This is going to be my thumbnail, and these aren't the house colors, like quote-unquote house colors. But these four polishes I had to pick up, and I picked them up in a haul and ended up deciding I would just use them together in a manicure and get to use them so that they can get put away in the Helmers or on the racks with the other polishes. And, you know, so we're just going with it. But they were the house colors. They were, you know, there's a green one, a red one, a yellow, a blue so that's what we're working with today. I've got a little skinny pink of nail. Ooh, way. All right. So we're going in for a second coat of all the polishes. And we're just going to, you know, play hard today. It's a little bit longer than normal. Um, and this nail, I apologize, is sitting on that nail wheel cattywalked. But it's, I'm able to reach everything I need to, so I, I wasn't going to mess with it. <laughs> and we're going to do some um, stamping, but I'm going to do some of the reverse stamping, you know, filling in the colors. Oh, that polish is so pretty. I really do need to wear reds more often. And here we go with the yellow. Like I said, I understand these finishes aren't all the same. It's not like from its own collection, but we're using them. And this is the Harry Potter plate. I'm going to be using the like coat of arms or whatever you want to call it. And a bunch of stampers and the opaque black sticky stamp and polish from She Modern and the opaque white from She Modern. So I'm just going to, you know, pick different colors and pick up these um, crests or that's is that what they're like family crest you know how families have family crests anyway that's what we're doing today and I'm gonna pick each one like this one's going on the white nail this is the Hogwarts and then we'll have you know the, uh, the different houses you know Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw so I am using that tape to get up the excess off of the stamper. And that one did really, really well. And here we go with Slytherin. And I am mixing them up because of the different colored nails they're going on. Um, I wanted to make sure that they showed up pretty well. So I am kind of mixing it, mixing and matching and tweaking things as I go. And here we go with another one my stamper and voila and I do have a confession to make this one ends up getting put on the nail upside down my bad but you know what it's okay I could just call that my accent nail right that'll work right <laughs> but it's all okay and by the time I realized it y'all I was so far off I was done. I was not going to go back and fix that and redo it because it wasn't fixing it. It would have been start over and I wouldn't, I wasn't about in the mood for that. And Hufflepuff. And I'm going to clean this stamping plate with some acetone. Flip that cotton ball over and do some more scrubbing on this plate and wiping. And then we got to clean up our little mat. Yes, indeed. There we go. All right, so I'm going to be using So Metal by Maniology. 
and this is also a maniology, and this is Heart of Gold. And I'm going to use these to kind of fill in the banners with this little teeny maniology detail brush. I just wanted to make them pop, you know. So I'm going to just kind of do the banners where the names are. I'm just going to do them in silver or gold, whichever, you know, corresponds with, you know, my color pattern in my head. I, I wasn't feeling up to filling in the whole image. I, I, I knew that I was a little too shaky for trying to pull something like that off. And this one down here is skinny. I probably should have used a striper brush. But it's okay. We're going to make this work. Going to make it work. Going to make it happen. There we go. Very nice. And this is a really good little detail brush. But when you got shaky hands like mine, they can be a challenge. So there we go. We got that done. And then here's the Slytherin. I'm going to make that. I'm kind of highlighting them. I guess that's what I was trying to get to. You know, make them pop. And you guys know I can never get enough Harry Potter nails. It's just something I really like, really enjoy. Now that it's getting cold here, I'm feeling a Harry Potter marathon going on. We might have to break the movies out and spend our weekends catching up and watching them again. Again. Yes, we do it almost every year, so we'll see. Normally it's when we get trapped in the house because it's just too cold to play outside. Fill in that one in. Flip it over. Check it out. Very nice. And then Ravenclaw. Very pretty. And these stamped images turned out really good. They transferred really well from the stamping plate to the stamper. Especially with those sticky stamping polishes. I, I wouldn't even play in with this one. Um, I was going to make sure that they like really got transferred well. Ravenclaw. Kind of hard to see. And now Gryffindor. And I do believe that I let these also sit out overnight to totally dry. Yeah, I'm almost positive I did. Um, because I didn't want to smear the sticky stamp and polish. And with me painting them in, I wanted them to be really nice and done. So I've got the sticky base from Maniology and I'm going to go over the nail with nails with that and give that a moment to kind of dry down a little bit just where it's tacky. It does stay tacky for a little bit so I went in any rush. That's why I'm going ahead and doing all the nails at once. Just give them a chance to Get all sticky so we can transfer these decals, as they used to say, decals, over. Now, actually, this is kind of um, cray. There we go. Oh, I think that looks so good. So we got the Hogwarts, and then now we got Ravenclaw. And then Slytherin. Very nice. Oh, come on, come on. Let's see. Oh, this is the one I put on backwards. Let's see if we can get that on there. Okay, and then Hufflepuff. That is a little bitty one. I'm surprised that fit. Now that they're on there, I'm going to go over these with the smudge free top coat. I'm seeing just a smidge smearing, but not bad. And then we're going to top these all off with the sesh feet. Very, very nice. Very cool. And I did love this. I loved it, loved it. Of course, that's the Harry Potter junkie in me saying yes. Look at that nail at the top, the way it's orange and green. That is so pretty. Flashing them colors. And there's Ravenclaw and now Slytherin. So pretty. And I know technically these probably all didn't go together. I get it. I'm not, you know, I'm not that slow um you know i'm a little slow but 
I just wanted to use these. I wanted to use them. Yep, upside down. Ha 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 ha. It's okay. It's my accent now, right? It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Right, and then this tiny little huff, Hufflepuff barely fit on that nail. I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. And there is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.